There she is. DE pump should stand for drive shaft eater, right? So we'll bring you in close and we'll show you the where. Oh, what do you got there, Uncle Scott? Well, that's a summertime hat from Area Decent what? Service. And this right no here will way. be a summertime hat. Hey, boom! Get you some of that. you drive that in there like that? Uh, it's running on Dr. Pepper. Is it? Yeah. I think it's missing something. <laughs> so my super sweet editing skills, I lost, I had a couple clips of this dozer when it was over there before paint mm -hmm. and I lost them. So uh, basically what was going on with this, we was going to paint this whole dozer up. Mm -hmm. We knew the pump was leaking. Mm -hmm. We was going to paint the whole dozer up, put it up for sale, then take it back apart while he's waiting on the pump to get rebuilt. Isn't that what I said in the first video? This is, this is correct. So what was going on, it's leaking. I think the front seal is leaking. Uh, it's actually dumping oil into the engine now, or fuel into the engine, isn't it? So that's why I was taking it apart. I probably could have fixed that seal, but like I said, Area Diesel knows what they're doing, and these things are prone to go bad about five or 6,000 hours. So mm. anyway, we're gonna jump into taking this thing off. So I was trying to jump in here because it's not making sense right now. Hmm. <laughs> well, just, we it's just know. magic how you run it in here, right? Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. We're going to start taking her off here. All right, we're getting set up here. If you guys not seen, we're giving a whole bunch of tools away here um, next year. So you guys uh, don't know, you can drop down in the description below. Watch that video if you guys not seen. But we're going to try to uh, thrash on some Harbor Freight tools for a whole year. We've got a whole assortment of stuff going on here. So we're going to see how they hold up, and we'll let you guys know what to do. So we're going to grab some tools, and uh, first thing we're going to do is try to... Uh, Turn the engine over and get it on number one top dead center. I'll take that stuff over, Mason. I'll get a light and bring you guys over here. But the most important thing, you don't have to do this before you pull a pump off, but I find it's always way easier. Go ahead and get your motor up on time. So we're going to turn that over. I'll show you. Put this thing on number one top dead center. We'll verify by pulling the plug out here in the pump and make sure that we're on number one and not number four. So, but, uh, it's, always, it's just so much easier to do this now. When you get the new pump back, you know everything's sitting number one because you took it apart that way. You can just slam it on there and put it back together. So, All right, we're over here on the other side of the tractor. Uh, most of your John Deere engines are going to have a uh, timing pin hole here in the flywheel housing. I'll get a light down here so these people can see. So there's going to be a port down here. See, we got a little hole, and then there's a big hole. It's got a little plastic plug that pops out. But... Um, I've got a flywheel turning tool. This is actually for a Cummins, but it fits these deers just fine. It pops in that hole. You gotta squeeze that together. Pops in there, then the ratchet turns it. So basically, they've got what they call a timing pin. I just use a, a 5 16 bolt. We're gonna hold a little pressure on that bolt, spin that engine over until that bolt falls down in a groove in a flywheel, a little hole, and then we'll know that we're on, hopefully, number one top dead center. We could be on one or four. We'll verify which cylinder we're on by the uh, top of the pump over. I'll show you guys that. All right, Mason's turning the engine. I got the uh, timing pin pushing in on it, so we'll stop whenever it falls in place. And keep going and see how slow the fan's moving up there. We got a lot of gears going on there. See, I'm just keeping a little pressure on that bolt. There's a little divot about a quarter inch deep on there.
gonna make it today. <laughs> oh, right there. She fell in. Back her up just a fuzz. Well, okay. Let's leave that there. All right, so over here on the other side of the engine, we did go ahead and pull this uh, plug out of the top of the pump right here. This is where the timing port's at. We got lucky, we did get in time. There's a little notch there in that wheel in there. Um, I'm just using a 7 16 bolt. John Deere has a fantasy tool. It's basically the same thing. We're off just a hair. We're kind of off center of that hole. So I'm gonna have Mason, you wanna turn that back just a little bit, Mason? Yep, there you go. Oh, right there. That's sitting nice and square and center in the hole. So there, we're perfectly on number one top dead center. Now, if we didn't see that square notch in there, that means we're probably on number four. We'd have to turn that engine over another revolution until we seen that square notch. So we're lined up nice and perfect there now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and yank all the lines off. Um, if you don't do this step right here, you go ahead and put that pin in there. There's a chance you could have this on number four. And uh, if you don't check that, then your motor's gonna be out 180 and it's not gonna start. So it's always best to time everything up first, like I said. John Deere calls this a standardine, a DE10. I believe it's a, uh, I think it called a level, yeah, it's a level 12 fuel system is what they call it, but uh, it's kind of known in the industry as a DE style pump. So they start running erratic and stuff after you get some hours on. There's a lot of magic and stuff that goes on in there, but Aero Diesel's gonna do a full video on this thing. It's gonna be linked in the description below. You guys can see what's all inside this thing, but we're gonna get to taking lines off. We gotta take this front cover off here. If I remember right, we gotta get a little puller and pull our gear off there too, so we'll get after it. Well, awful loud there, bud. We got uh, a curved 11 16th wrench, Mason. That's open ended or not? No. Open ended? No. Well, get me 11 16th shorty wrench up front. These right here, like 10 millimeter, that little round plate. Small. Short socket and that battery ratchet probably. Short socket? Yeah, probably. Probably not. You need one of them special colored ones that Kevin likes.
Yeah. 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 Land these bolts. Right there. Not want power. Not twisting my arm off. Got that all. Need a screwdriver. Screwdrivers. Take these bolts off here. Do we want to pull the gear off her? Yeah, the steering will pull her over right here. Where at? It's up here with the pulley. It's like a triangle. Deal, I think. All right, we got the uh, front cover off, everything loose. I got a 15 16 or 24 millimeter socket. There's a nut on the front of this pump here. I'm gonna take it loose. Mason's holding the motor over there. Oh, that thing's tight. Okay, I got it, Mason. So we'll take the uh, nut off this gear, then we'll get a puller rigged up here. thing off there's a nut in the washer you don't want to drop it I think there's two um, like six millimeter holes in here Mason you need this okay. let's see here a second yeah I need um, that's the size it is in metric. This? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you need. Um, just two. They got to be longer. So I got like a steering wheel puller here is what I usually use on these. Yeah, you probably need, um, oh, what do we, we got like some 60 millimeter or 50 millimeter ones over there, Mason? All right, got a couple 50 millimeter long bolts, like your six millimeter diameter. We're gonna shove through here. Those are gonna thread into that gear, and then we'll pull on the shaft. All right, we got our puller set up. We're pressing on the end of that shaft right now on that pump. It's probably gonna go pop. We hope. It's like that. Isn't that scary, Mason? Mm. Alright, that's it. We'll take this off and we'll get the pump wiggled out. Do what? The handle's falling out of it. That's why I laid it on the table. Okay. Alright, we're gonna try to get her wiggled out of here. I still got some lines in here, kinda gotta warp them out of the way. she is all right though so there she is it's a standardine de2435-5805 there's a john deere part number two so area diesel i did talk to them they do have these in stock on the shelf so if you just want to do exchange they had this particular model 
on the shelf are kind of common for going bad. I know even the John Deere dealer keeps them in stock, so it's another reason why I'm just going ahead and going to replace it because this thing looks original to the tractor. We're probably just leaking out some seals here. Again, I could replace those, but this is uh, going to a local customer. I want it to be right for whoever gets it, so we're going to fix it right. Um, we've got a plastic bag. We're going to put some pig mats around it. we got some stuff capped off. Put it in a plastic bag, put it in a box, and UPS it over to them. Like I said, they're going to do a video on that thing, but uh, while they're doing that, Kevin and the guys are going to finish painting the rest of the parts and pieces. Um, we got to put a log arch on here. we got screens that come off this thing, root rake and all that stuff. So we're going to work on that in the meantime. And uh, while Area Diesel is rebuilding this thing. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Did you uh, get all your parts put on there, bud? I think so. Looks a little different now. Kevin's got all the screens on. Got a new seat in there. And we got this super cool root rake on here. But you know what's even better than that? This box. We got some parts from Area Diesel Service. They fixed your pump up. I think you this already one? opened it, didn't you? This one? Does that look like it? You want to open that one up? No, let's open it. If you guys don't know, we've had a relationship with Area Diesel Service for a while. Not that kind of relationship that you're looking at me all funny like. Huh. You know what this pump's from? Uh, well, let me put my hands on it. Uh, John Deere 8. Deep. You got it. Yeah. So nailed it, didn't I? We'll get these open here. Can you open that one for me? I only got one hand. Because you've already opened a box once. I asked five seconds ago. This is the one we're interested in. We sent this thing off to those guys, and they uh, rebuilt this thing. Kurt and the guys over here do an awesome job. They even gave us our wrong caps back too. <laughs> Mighty nice of them. Got a nice new tag on there and everything. So what they find out with this one? They found out that. Uh, the shaft was worn. Uh, I'll put a picture up here of it. They did a full video on this thing. I'll put some clips in here of their video. So their video will be down in the description below. Uh, you guys definitely need to head over to their channel and check out the full rebuilding this thing. But uh, quick story, they found uh, that shaft had some worn grooves in it. I showed you that picture. It was pretty bad, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That's what was causing the fuel to run out. Um, accumulator springs broken, fuel solenoid cracked, and a couple other O-rings cut. So it was time, they said. But uh, I'm glad that we didn't try to uh, mess with that. So, but they got us a new, um, I believe we got a new shaft in there all fixed up. But uh, you guys got to check your video out. It's pretty interesting what's all inside these things and how they work. Not saying that we couldn't have done it, but we don't have that little magical machine to set everything back up right. And, but uh, now we know it's going to be 100% right and set up and ready to go. So, and you've got an 850J pump over there. I'm actually kind of keeping these in stock. This is a high pressure fuel pump for the. Uh, common rail and nine liter john deere motors that one's probably off 11 hour dozer maybe 19 we don't know they get messed up and gummed up so uh we got one of those on the shelf from them too so we definitely appreciate uh them guys helping us out if you guys need anything uh turbochargers injection pump wise you like that turbo name no, I did. anything diesel give these guys a shout once again their info will be in the description below and uh, mention our name. It'll help you out. A little free shipping, some other stuff too. It helps us out too. So, um, you ready to get on this? Let's do it. All right. First thing we need to do is probably pop this plug out and make sure that we're timed again. So, you guys remember last time we took this out, we got this motor all in time on number one top dead center. So, all we should have to do is put uh, this 7 16 bolt in there. John Deere has their own special tool, but. Uh, we just gotta line it up in the notches in that pump again. We should be able to slam it on. Did you get her off? I did. Oh, they even got it lined up for us already. So, nice. so there's a little notch in there. This is a 7 16 bolt, like I said earlier in the video. Lined her up. So most of your pump shops are gonna have her lined up. I always like to pull them off. So uh, we're ready to uh, put that dude in there. We'll bolt it up. Then we got this, look how careful you're being. Then we got this gear, we'll bolt it on there. After we get I just didn't want there. you to have shake a vision like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Oh yeah. Don't bend all my lines up now, bud. I'm not. I'm trying to find the right spot. Easy does it, boys. We got us new O-rings on there too. You probably need me to hold this gear up a little bit for you. How about that? A little wiggle jiggle. Boom. Still lined up good. You got some nuts over there in our Dr. Pepper box. 
So we did change the oil on this while we was waiting on this pump. I um, was always worried about some diesel fuel contamination. Pretty sure it was running down in there because we had Mason actually changed oil on it. And we noticed that was over full a little bit after running a little bit. So plus it was leaking externally too, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll get those on there and then we'll uh, get the front gear torqued on there. Hook some lines up and we'll be right there. But yeah, Kevin's got to touch the paint up where I welded this brush rake on. So this tractor is sold already to a customer. Uh, we've got to put the side shields back on. I still got our uh, timing pin over here in our flywheel. We didn't move that yet. So we've got our log arch on it. Setting this one up for the woods for this guy. So got her all greased up, serviced. We're just waiting on his pump. One other thing for the seat, and we'll be ready to go. Right, Kevin's getting those bolts tightened up. I'm going to put the nut on this gear. We still lined up in our timing marks here. You better believe her. Okay. Boy, this curve wrench is nice. Is it? I wonder where you at. Harbor Freight. Okay. What do you got there, Uncle Scott? Well, that's a summertime hat from Airy Diesel what? Service. And this right no here is be a summertime hat. Hey, boom! Get you some of that. From Airy Diesel Service. I bet they won't fit his small head. <laughs> hey, it's got a it's got a turb ski on it. <laughs> it's got a turbo on it. Let me cut a release valve in that. Hey, it's not one size fits all, Airy Diesel. <laughs> we got a big head here among us. It'll be big head. <laughs> Those are some pretty good looking hats though. Nice hat hey Uncle too. Scott, you might want to take the cardboard out of yours. It's blocking nah. your summertime flow there. Hey, I wonder what was cutting that restriction. That restrictor Hey, plate you know again. what? If you need some more hats, you can jump over to Air Diesel's website and uh, get you some you more right. swag. I bet you that you can find them on there. 50 years of service. Or, hey, you can send them an injection. Huh? Bud, you do you need a hat stretcher? I told you I'm going to have to cut a relief out in there. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get a headache, man. This is the shortest elevation guy I know. Got the biggest head and the shortest feet. There's more to come. Just <laughs> we got more to come on that situation later on. Alright, we gotta get back to put this together. Let's go. Alright, that was just that easy, wasn't it? Oh, you already got the plug on. Okay. What plug? So Kevin's going to primer the little primer pump over there, is that right? Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. he's going to pump that up. I got the line loose. Yeah, we got, got some air coming out. Oh, yeah. So this is the feed line from that pump that feeds this pump. I think you got her, bud. I'm going to tighten this up and I'll have you pump that a little bit more, Kevin. Mm. Maybe you can shove it through the return. Mm. These you don't have to get real tight, there's a rubber in them. Okay, we'll go ahead and pump that up some more, Kevin. Let's spray a little brake clean on here. Get the fuel off there so we can check for leaks. Get her. Must be there. So he's pumping that it's little weird. pump on the little lift pump here. All right, we got to turn the disconnect on. Hey, you don't have no power, do you, bud? You got this freaking contraption of a door protector over here.
You ready for contact? That part works. The beeper? Yep. Give her a little bit of throttle, maybe. I'm sure it's not going to be happy for a little bit. <laughs> I think that's a successful uh, injection pump install, don't you? She uh, fired up pretty good, didn't she? Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Her light's going like dead. Somebody knew what they were doing when they built that pump. I know, right? So yeah, you guys definitely need to go check Area Diesel Service out. They've got a pretty good little YouTube channel going on too. So we had a video collaboration. Remember your 455e? Yeah, yeah. That video hit over 100,000 views for them. So. Definitely go check their YouTube channel out. It'll all be linked down below. And if you guys need anything injection pump wise uh, from Area Diesel Service, you need to go check them out. So, turbos, injectors, they got all kinds of stuff. Not just heavy equipment, they got dozers, trucks, all that stuff. But uh, definitely go over and check them guys out. Tell them that uh, we sent you over. So, we're about done with this project, ain't we? Yeah. You gotta touch up this paint job where I messed your paint up. What's new? What's new? Somebody is a pretty good welder, though. Yeah, I did pretty good, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, I was over here watching you. Yeah. Yeah, ruined your paint. We, uh, the guy wanted the uh, rake on kind of after paint. Hmm. We're waiting on the rake, I don't know. Hmm. You've got side shields. Hmm. We're waiting on a 12-volt uh, air compressor for the air ride seat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's about done. That's right. All right, guys, we do appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you like this little kind of how-to video on how to uh, remove and install an injection pump. It's kind of, you know, if you're sending it off to some place like Area Diesel Service, it's very important to get that thing up on time. You guys see, we slipped that on, what, about 15 minutes max or so? Yeah. We had it on 15 minutes because we had everything prepared when we took it off. It makes life a lot easier, so. But uh, I definitely recommend sending something out like that to them, those guys. Um, they've got all the equipment, tools, and knowledge and know-how to uh, set that stuff up right and uh, you don't have to worry about it mess, messing it up so we'd mess it up for sure wouldn't we yeah oh I guarantee yeah, I would all right guys we thank you we'll see you next time